as well. Thanksgiving Day, that's what I'm looking towards. It looks perfect. All right, Tom, thank you. Minorities are paying more even with online lenders and Walmart's investments in online paying off. Jane King has these stories and so much more. It's today's business report. Online sales at Walmart are soaring. They were up 43% during the third quarter. Walmart ha has been focused on expanding its merchandise assortment online. And one way it's doing this is by buying digital brands. Well, it's not just bank loan officers with racial biases who discriminate against black and Latino borrowers. Computer algorithms do too. Now that is the groundbreaking conclusion of a University of California at Berkeley study. They found that big data is no better than humans at evening the playing field when it comes to determining home mortgage interest rates and it found both online and human lenders earn 11 to 17 percent higher profits off minorities with those higher interest rates. Facebook's morale is down along with its stock price. The company's had a rough year and it's taking a toll as it's dealt with data privacy scandals, also criticism over its role in misinformation. 53 percent of employees said Facebook was making the world better, down 19 percent from a year ago. And Netflix is now offering a mobile-only plan for about four dollars a month. The tier is available only in a few countries outside the U.S. The content can only be watched on a mobile device and only in SD. From the NASDAQ, I'm Jane King with your business update. All right, Jane King, thanks so very much. We have some more breaking news for you out of the country music world. Country star Roy Clark has died at the age of 85. This is according to his publicist, and we will, of course, follow this and have much more for you coming up on later shows. Let's take a look and see how stocks are performing at this new hour. Dow Jones Industrial is down about 89 points. to sit right now at 24,991. NASDAQ Composite, though, it's climbing 20 points. to sit right now at 71.56. Bloomingdale's is offering more than high-end clothing this holiday season. The upscale retailer is about to sell TVs, washing machines, and fridges for the first time. Bloomingdale's is teaming up with electronics maker LG, which will have a shop inside Manhattan's flagship store starting November 19th. The boutique will sell LG's premium signature line and its TVs, dishwashers, and other large appliances. LG products will also be for sale on Bloomingdale's.com. More retailers are teaming up with brands to compete this holiday season as giants, including Sears, closed its doors. Fans of Uber will soon get rewarded for their rides. The ride sharing company is launching a new Uber rewards program offering perks to riders for using its service. It's currently launching in a handful of cities, including Miami, Denver, Tampa, Florida, New York City and Washington, D.C. The program will roll out to all U.S. riders over the coming months. And riders can get points depending on which Uber service is used and use the points to unlock different levels of perks. Among the notable rewards, discounts on future rides, better customer support, and priority pickup at airports. Well, a Texas minor league baseball team finally has a mascot, and it's quite quirky. quirky. <laughs> We're going to tell you all about it.